National Urban League President Mark Morial and former New Orleans mayor is here in town for Essence and a lot of festivities going on. Uh, and you were instrumental in, in, in getting Essence coming here, and, and thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate hey, that. Hey, good morning. And you had a big, uh, a big uh, um, uh, dedication over at the convention yeah, center yesterday, yeah, yeah. the convention center named after your father. And uh, we uh, dedicated yesterday at Historical Timeline, which really celebrates my father's legacy, but the 300 years of the city. Uh, and the making of the convention center over three phases. My father certainly was involved in phases one and two, and uh, my administration led phase three. And it's been a huge part of the, the it city is, and bringing uh, tourism here. It's been a transform transformative project for the riverfront, for the warehouse district, uh, and really helped New Orleans leapfrog into really the upper echelon of tourist destina convention destination cities. And when, when, when you helped bring Essence here, it was a big boost for the city because the summer months were always slow. How hard you was remember July 4th? It was sleepy, it was empty, it was hot. How hard it, of a sell was that to Essence? Well, let me say this. Essence wanted to come here when they visited my offices the first time. They wanted to do the Music Fest. They wanted to do it here, but it was going to be a one-year event. It was going to be a celebration of the 25th anniversary of Essence Magazine, and I think it was going to be one and done. I think after the success of the first year, I think there were 100,000 people that uh, attended the concerts over three nights at the Dome. Uh, they looked around and they said, we did this with no corporate sponsorships and with no help. Uh, we might have not made any money. Let's do it again. And they made a commitment for two additional years. And the rest, indeed, is history. Like the Jazz Fest, uh, the reason why the Essence Fest is so successful is because it's naturally New Orleans. Uh, it has an, a national dimension because it's Essence Magazine. It's focused on African-American women. But Essence Fest would, will only work in New Orleans because of our culture, our history, our facilities, and what people come here to experience. And, and it, it has been a big economic impact uh, for, for yeah. business over the summer. It's been a great economic impact for retailers, for restaurateurs, small business owners uh, participate in a very big way. And Essence has made an effort from the beginning to include uh, small business owners, African American business owners from New Orleans in the activations. And this year, over the last several years, it's gone beyond nighttime events and events at the convention center to events yeah. at remote facilities like the Global Economic Forum at the Contemporary Arts Center, which is a new, a new thing this year. I like it because we love music. It's a party, it's a good time, but the daytime activities, and this year with five presidential candidates sure. coming, have a degree of uh, substance and seriousness that uh, once again makes it special. And, and uh, uh, we, we have seen race injected into this debate among the, uh, the uh, uh, Democratic candidates. Mm -hmm. um, how big of an issue should this be or will it be? I think racial justice has to be a discussion amongst a number of other issues, whether it's income inequality, climate change, uh, education, because it's an issue uh, that still is important to many people in the United States. And, and I think that the issues of criminal justice reform, voting rights, how we educate kids, how we deal with uh, income inequality and the racial wealth gap have to be discussed. The uncomfortable things have to be discussed in the context of a political campaign. So I expect uh, there to be uh, uh, continuing fireworks. I think the, the, the voters like fireworks as long as the fireworks are based on substance and not personal innuendo. And does the Urban League take, take stands on, on on candidate issues, we don't take. Like we try to create uh, an opportunity, and we will in our conference in Indianapolis in several weeks. We've invited presidential candidates to come. We invite all the challengers. The Democratic challengers is one Republican challenger to President Trump. We've invited him. Next year, we'll invite uh, whoever the Democratic nominee is and uh, the incumbent president to come. That's our history. Uh, we're nonpartisan, but we are. We have strong views on policy issues, whether it's education or criminal justice reform or closing the racial wealth gap or support for minority entrepreneurs or uh, an inclusive economy for all or raising the minimum wage. We have policy positions and we try real hard to elevate those policy positions and what we want okay. candidates to do is uh, embrace our agenda. We can't endorse them, they can endorse our agenda. Okay. Quickly, yeah. can you inform my young friend, as a lifelong New Orleanian, one of the first families in New Orleans, is it a to-go cup or a go Man, cup? Man, it's a go cup. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You said give me a go cup. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Mark. There you have the answer. Uh, you can learn more about the 25-year history of Essence Festival at a special panel tomorrow at 11.15 on the main stage at the convention center. 
Uh, Mark Morial is on the panel as well as Editor-in-Chief Susan Taylor. If you'd like more information about this and other Essence events uh, going on, you can go to our website, wwltv.com, and click on links.